Hello everybody, my name is Svít Procházka and I welcome you in the second part of the Horolocus or Portal creation tutorial on how to make something that will teleport us through this plasma wall. In the first part we ended right here. I make only two changes. One is I placed one portal behind the wall actually you can just G grab it and place it wherever you want and I added another texture to the material it's just this circle with alpha alpha channel so we have borders because this environment is pretty much same so we actually see you where this ball ended. Well, in previous parts we didn't do anything about teleportation. We actually do only rendering stuff and texturing and this is how it looks, but it won't teleport us. So we will do it right now. I will again try to explain everything really quickly with a little sketch. Uh, today we will have actual spheres which will look for collisions and some object which will of course collide with one of the spheres. Sphere. And most tutorials or most teleport actually works that if this uh, object collide with sphere number one teleport it to the sphere number two and it's all well we want actually something more advanced I, I should say we want a smooth uh, flow through this sphere to this sphere with same velocity, same di uh, directions and uh, possibly uh, as little as possible the destruction well the jump from here to here so we won't be in other place Oh, you will see. So we will achieve it by uh, controlling when this object is collide and we will measure distance between center of the sphere, sphere and uh, the object. Every frame we will measure it. And if the distance will be smaller than the previous one, so the object actually uh, get closer and closer to the center uh, nothing will really happen but if the distance start growing so the object want to get out of the sphere we will teleport it to the other sphere uh, for the uh, better placement we just get this little vector and place it exactly to the same place so it will seem as we are s still in the same sphere. Uh, one little thing is we need some property for this object uh, which will tell that it's teleported right now because if we didn't have don't we have a have it. Uh, this sphere will will work exactly as the previous one, so the object will be teleported back and forward every frame, like you can expect. But this is what we don't want. Well, another weird and messy explanation, but I hope you will get it while we actually make it 
everything what we will need will be simple cube which is uh, 2 by 2 meters by default so the radio radius is 1 meter exactly the same as our uh, portal visuals we will place it to the same place as our visuals for portals and change some properties uh, mainly the name it will be something like port A whatever and just for better visualization we change display maximum draw type to wire so we still see our uh, portal as it should be uh, we don't need any constraints any mesh information even don't any materials just change physics settings make sure you are in blender game rendering and uh, make sure that radius is on one meter we change the physics type to sensor because it only detect collision nothing else but if you change it to sensor you lost the ability to uh, set up the radius and we need it so when you have different size of your portal just uh, go to static change radius and get back to the sensor is weird but it's work so we want exactly one meter radius and sensor type invisible because we really don't want to see th this cube and we actually don't want to be this a cube but sphere without any mar margin and now we have our uh, colliding object and again some logic for it it will be rather easy just always sensor with true, true triggering because we will run script every frame and collision sensor because we will check for collisions and uh, I know uh, now uh, that only object which will be teleported has some property already declared and this property is for my case uh, carry this property is set to the stingy, stingy himself who is right here and I don't want anything else to be teleported so this collision will catch only objects with this property now I place Python and connect with both these sensor and it's all I just duplicate it place exactly to the other portal and only change name nothing else name will be same port but the last uh, car will be d different as with our uh, planes like plane 0 1 plane 0 2 so we will have port B and port A everything is ready and we can go right to the programming part just open your text editor this is our previous uh, script which uh, we, we was made and we just open new one name it something like uh, teleport dot py and we can start 
write our script we will begin same as previous one by importing the BGE and math utils I hope we won't need the math module and we will actually define two different functions uh, because we want the, this simply teleportation to be done in one line so we will define just like port it and now we uh, will place there uh, what attributes we actually want it's not predefined anyhow uh, we can type there whatever we want we will of course need some object to teleport so I name it like object because it makes sense not because it's uh, needed and s some object uh, which will actually will be the colliding teleport and some object which will be the target teleport so I type it like start and target and it's all column and here will be our function for actually teleportation I first of all will will need the ve vector which will be the position relatively to the sphere so my start object is actually the sphere colliding right here this is position of my start object and this is position of the teleported object which I uh, named uh, just object then we will teleport it nothing fancy we just change the word position of our object to the target word position plus our, lit our little vector so it will be exactly in the relatively same place one workaround is good to make because the, the distance is fairly uh, long and the actual time will be zero or one frame so the speed will be very big and the object will be just shoot from the other sphere we don't want it so in time of teleportation we use the function for suspend the dynamics for the object which will remember the the last velocity and rotation and everything and after teleportation we will use the restore dynamic oh sorry and it's all it's actually all we need to teleport one object to the different place but we will have to decide when we want to teleport it so I uh, this script is pretty Oh, I would say longer than the previous one so I just copy and paste it here and I will try to explain it line by line what is happening there well we just define it 
another function which will be call it as we want this cont is from the previous tutorial you should know that it's controller when where uh, this script is running so the sensor or uh, anything we will name it like that will be owner of this controller in our case it will be the sphere the starting sphere which will teleport the object this is uh, the part which will run only one frame because in first frame we know that any scene on or whatever isn't declared in sensor and in first line we declare it so it will be uh, false for this if statement so any other frame will be just from here to the end every single one of every single frame uh, we will declare it the, the actual scene where is all objects we could need the sensor for collision because I show you we have actually two sensors one will run the script every frame but the other one have to be has to be addressed somehow and this is how it's addressed just the controller and sensors are a list of all sensors and this is the name this is what we type here it is collision so there is string collision 2 and because somewhere in this script we targeted the hitted object and we will count frames so I declare it here like none and zero or if I want anything else I will declare it as false or anything I I would need and here is uh, another little if statement because I need the other sphere again and I don't know which one run this script right now so I decided that if it and if the name of the sensor uh, ends with a like here port a the other one will be actually port b and analogically if not so I if it will actually port b which is here the other one will be port a and this is all what we will need so we can run this part of the function which will run every single frame this is another if statement if the collision is positive so this sensor uh, is true so something with property carry or every property we will write here will collide with our sphere we will run this part which is the measuring distance and teleporting and if not we will check if uh, some object left in our hitted property and if yes we uh, tell that this object shouldn't be here we end, end him like set it that set it to none and the portrait is actually a property which s tells that it's portrait right now or if it encounter the sphere for the first time and this part of the script we find the object which with, uh, which is hit it with the sphere or which hit the sphere and if this object actually exists it's this sign we check again if the carry property is in this object we really don't need this sign because here it is already set but we can delete it or want something else so we
we can write it here uh, for example like or mm, anything else in and again sensor heated mm. with this line we don't need this and we could have uh, any number of properties like this would be my hero I know he has this property but if I want to teleport for example the head rounds or the objects which which I manipulated in the game I know they has similar property they have carried and now I can teleport them as well and this is uh, just little trick I, I would say I count every frame just that I am uh, adding one to the actually frame number so every frame will be uh, on one bigger and here I am making sure that if I divided the number of frame by some number like 3 and I will have nothing less so this is only for numbers 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 and so on so this part won't run every frame but every third frame or if I place there 6 it will run every sixth frame so it will actually be easier for uh, the CPU uh, here I just control if I already have this ported property in the heated object if not I just paste it here it should be done only one and in other teleportation it already should be here so this is won't be executed and it actually didn't port right now so I want to port it or control the distance as we said so for the first time to encounter the sphere I will set some distance which is uh, too high for anything I know that if I collide with the sphere the distance just can't be more than 10 it actually can be more than 1 but this is like ridiculously high I could place it here 100 or whatever just because I make sure that every other uh, distance I would measure will be uh, always smaller than the first one and the distance I measure uh, traditionally uh, I could say that I make difference between between the positions it's actually vector and distance of the vector is uh, thankfully of the math details I just uh, write vector magnitude and this is my actually distance from the center of the spear. sphere sphere <laughs> sorry for it and I control if the current distance is bigger than the old distance which is from the previous frame and if the difference between this uh, length is bigger than some really small number it's because if I stopped in the uh, in the sphere and doesn't move the magnitude of the vector is actually uh, re really precise and it could differentiate on uh, like 10 or 12 decimal place and I don't want it 
so I make sure that if the difference isn't bigger than in this case one millimeter I didn't count it as change in the distance and if it if it uh, is bigger I teleport it it's the this line I just call my function which I declared here and it wants the object to teleport start of teleportation and target so I place there the hit it object which is object I want to teleport the sensor is our uh, started sphere and sensor other is actually the other sphere so it sphere it is the target for our teleportation and I just if it teleported I again set the old length to the 10 so exactly what I did here uh, say the uh, teleported object is teleported just now so in the in the other f other frame in the next frame the script will know that this object is actually teleported right now so it won't teleport him again back and get rid of the object and prepare for some another and here if uh, this distance is not bigger it means that the hitted object actually encounter closer and closer to the center I just uh, continue to measure the length nothing else it, it's done here and it's actually the whole script it look weird I placed it somewhere to download and only thing you need to do here when where we make our logic for the teleports we choose module again type here teleport because it's name of our script dot a name of our function which, which we w want to run and the name of the function is teleport again with small t so we type it here for just I uh, I don't know it's better to have here I know that this collision won't run every frame because it actually collides with floor or with the walls and I don't want it so just type here the, the property back as it would same same thing with the other portal teleport dot teleport and if we try it now everything should work as we want so I save it go to the game engine and if I encounter the sphere very slowly the time when I am encountered to the center I st I'm still here in this side of the wall but if the distance will get longer nothing happened and somewhere has to be something wrong and I know what I make typo again as always this is named teleport not teleport so now it everything should work and if not I will stop this video again and try to find it out so we encounter in and the distance is longer we are on the other side where is our ball and everything and we can teleport ourselves to the back well this is what I want so I hope you will find a way 
to implement it to your own work or project and if you have any questions or rather su suggestions for me or advices how to make better tutorials I gladly to hear it or see it and hope you like it anyway and well till the next time bye